Hey, this is Dave and I'm with my brother Rich and today uh, we had a really interesting question about uh, engineered flooring and whether or not water when spilled on the seam will leak through the seam. So uh, we want to thank Shane for the question and we're going to go ahead and do a little experiment and just see. All we've done is uh, put these two boards here. These are all scraps that we had in, in the basement and put a ring of caulk there to kind of hold the water on the seam. It's unnatural to hold that water there, but I'm hoping that, that when we do that, it'll keep the water concentrated right on that seam there. Uh, we've already click locked them together and we've got toilet paper underneath them because that if there's a one little drop, it, you'll show up on the toilet paper. And what we're going to do is do one, five, 15 and 45 uh, minute lengths where we have the water just sitting on that seam. And we'll see if uh, we'll see if we get any leakage through. Uh, which would in turn mean you, you could have a chance of mold or whatever going on the backside. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and put some water on each of these. Oh, look, I didn't even need the, the surface tension of the water is keeping it right there. And we're doing the same amount for each one. And we'll see if there's any need for concern. Okay, so now we're just going to let her ride. And we'll come back in one minute, in five minutes, 15 minutes, and 45 minutes, and we'll see if we've got any leakage going through the seams of two engineered click lock boards uh, together. All right, so we're, we're at one minute here, and we're going to take a look. I'm just barely going to lift this up and pull this through. Nothing on there, not a drop. And so uh, we'll, I guess we'll look underneath there. Can you see anything underneath that? Looks pretty dry. All right. So not a drip, not a drop. We'll let that go. And then next one will be five minutes and we'll okay, see where that begins. Okay. And uh, we're going to look at the five minute board here. I'll just try to barely lift it up. The caulk doesn't look like it's holding, but let's see. Nope, nothing on that. Let's see if underneath, do we have anything? Dry as a bone. All right. So that's five minutes. 15 minutes is gone. We'll give it a look here. Just barely lift it up here first. It looks clean. Let's look underneath it. Seems dry. All dry still. It has been 45 minutes. And we'll go ahead and look at this real quick. Nothing on that. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Completely dry. All right. So. I guess that's a, a little bit of a testament of how tightly those seams are actually engineered. And uh, we're real happy with this test. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some water and go ahead and let these sit overnight. And just, you know, 45 minutes means you got plenty of time to actually go ahead and get your spill cleaned up before you should have to worry about anything. Don't expect any leakage. It's the next day. We just left the water on these all night past their uh, original times and uh, it's now about 18 hours later and there's no leakage through any of these and that's really good news for if you're putting together a, an engineered floor you really don't have to worry about spills uh, we, we were talking amongst ourselves and my brother said well what about the perpendicular seams and so we did this one as well earlier today and this has been about three hours worth and we put a ton of water on this one and there's not a drop through there at all. Well, now I'm pouring it off it, but they've engineered these floors to go together so well that water's not going to leak through those seams. Uh, okay, and this is a mid-grade floor. You can get cheaper and you can get more expensive, but uh, this is very well done. I hope this helps in your DIY projects. Don't be afraid to put down an engineered floor and just click lock it together. Uh, please subscribe. Give us a comment if you do, if you would. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.